Those were the days. Okay, we have another set coming up. Uh, once again, we're going to figure out who these people are when production puts their names on screens. But honestly, I love these pan shots. They're so cool. You know, it just it feels like I'm part of the match now. It feels like I'm engaged. I'm I'm excited for this match, and so are these players. They're immediately hopping into it. We have Pain versus uh, Zerpokum. Oh, and uh, Hatchet Man starting off. Don't, what? No messing around. 31%. No crit. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's one way of getting <laughs> of getting it going. Yeah, we're gonna be having Pain from Sweden. If I'm not mistaken, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, please don't quote me on that. I'm not really sure about that. I'm sorry, chat. But yeah, here we have the iconic pay versus the one and only the Pokémon. You know, with, with uh, a bit of a Deutsch stat, you know, the Pokémon. Yeah. Yeah. So we have Hero versus Sephiroth. Quite an interesting match, and as we just saw, we we already uh, were at almost 30 percent within into the match, and we had a shield break, you know. But that's the, the literal first uh, move well, of the game from Hero broke shield. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I, I, I wouldn't call it funny because definitely if you get hit by that, you're gonna be laughing, laughing. But uh, as an spectator and as a commentator, it is. It's oh yeah, funny it's hilarious, man. <laughs> a random F must just breaking the shield within. The oh no, it was it was Hatchet Man. It was Hatchet Man that broke shield. Oh, okay. It wasn't that much. It wasn't that much. Even though it's, it's still funny, you know, because it was the first spell that was casted in this match. Mm. Almost the first spell. And speaking of spells, that Sizz gonna take off uh, take off Pain's head right now as uh, Hero is still glowing, still has that uh, that psych up ready. But oh, he's gonna be able to Whoa. somehow avoid that Giga Flare, but not the back air. And now yeah, Pain is uh, Pain is dead even. But this is where Heroes is at his most dangerous. You know, it's just like he has all the mana back from the previous stock, and he's just gonna start spamming spells. You see this? Yep. Down throws, catches that air dodge into the into the full neutral B. That does forty percent just off one hit. Yeah, definitely. And, and I was thinking real quick that uh, imagine if if we're casting this and the game was I don't know Deutsch or Japanese. We were oh yeah. To, to tell which spell uh, hero is casting because I don't know about you, but I definitely don't remember of hero spells. But what I do remember is that. That back air, especially when you're busted, can be really, can hit really, really hard. Just as we saw right now, being able to close out uh, Sephiroth second stuff, and right now is in quite an uncomfortable position. But yeah, the recovery is going to be just enough to make it in time. Nice counter coming up from Paint's part, and already at 20%. And yeah, he's definitely waiting for that one wing angel to appear in order to put a little bit more of advantage uh, into his arsenal you know i'm actually kind of surprised that the spells are in english instead of spanish oh are yeah we, we, we actually play a, a lot with, with the, the english language you know because uh we don't really like the voices being in spanish the voices oh are okay it's because the character voices in spanish aren't as good okay that makes sense no the announcer voice is different. oh the announcer voices we don't really, yeah Oh man, so these guys are just like smash it. attacking each other's shields and the spot dodge on that down smash. Uh, if you had held shield, it would have broken and the whack gets thrown out. Not gonna hit and we are, we are a smash attack and this is Super Smash Bros. This is Super Smash Attack Bros right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely because both of these characters have smash attacks, smash attacks that could actually shield, uh, shield, break your shield. I was about to say shield your break. Oh, yeah. wow. What an amazing response to that with F match. That was an F match, right? Or was yeah, it? yeah. So Hero F went for an F smash, but the back step of uh, of Sephiroth's down smash was able to sidestep it. So sometimes, you know, when you're a character that has a down smash like Sephiroth, you'll you'll reel back as you charge it. So he reeled back to dodge the F smash and then came in and killed uh, and killed with his own his own down smash. So it was nice. Yeah, just making the most out of that C axis and whoa, nice response by Pain being able to punish, punish the punish that air dodge. And uh, what I'm surprised is that uh, we actually didn't show an attempt to do a zoom, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was actually surprising. I don't think we saw any zoom attempts that entire that entire game. It's uh, actually we saw a couple attempts, but no zooms at all. Um, it's interesting because a lot of a lot of heroes will 
go uh we'll go into the blast zone to to sort of farm uh farm for zoom you know they'll use like yeah. two or three all the way in the corner but that time it really seemed like uh Pokem was not was not opting for that wasn't even trying to get the zooms in there was just going more for the upbeat which really heavily punished in that exact situation going for the the down tilt to ledge which is really good at two framing and Sephiroth was able to convert off of it and win that game yeah and we're gonna be having a little bit of a switch actually we're gonna be seeing Pichu you know with a team aqua uh bandana over here and yeah uh, let's see how this works out how it goes I, I i'm pretty sure that this could be quite a tough matchup for pichu uh especially because of, of his light weight you know and separate with the one wing angel form it can get really really hard and can close out Pichu's stuff really fast but right now it is actually working out from the pokemon really good already at 82 percent and he's just trying to apply the, the necessary pressure, you know, for being able to close out the paint stock before the one wing angel. But no, the one winner was already there. I'm sorry, I, I hadn't even noticed that. The one but yeah, yeah. The, wow, yeah, that, that was uh, a yeah, one way of covering above you. Reason. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think Pichu is really good at avoiding a lot of the uh, orders and back airs that. These Sephiroth players love to use. I mean, it, it, it's just he's so small; it's hard to catch him with those with those very precise moves. But at the same time, you know, the, the sweeping perks from from Sephiroth's like up smash and from uh, you know the uh, the up air are really going to be able to catch Pichu as he's landing. If if Pain is careful about how he uses them, so you got to be you got to be cognizant of when Pichu's going to be able to be in disadvantage. But oh man, nice counter there! You got to be careful again at Pichu's counter. That counter will explode you so early. Yeah, especially because of uh, the lack of hitbox in Pichu's recovery, you know, the difference of Pikachu. Uh, the Pichu's recovery is quite more punishable, and we are already seeing that, because if that was uh, uh, Pikachu's recovery, he could have gone just through that uh, tempo of down smash and would have actually interrupted it, but yeah, this is one of the downfalls of uh, not having a, 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 a nasty hitbox in your recovery, but you know, Pichu uh, just can hit really hard. With it. So, yeah, there is that already a 57% nice avoid of that. Me me that that's called the Mega Word, right? Because there's Giga, uh, their one is Mega? I don't remember. I I don't Please know. I don't know way. for Please sure. Save me. <laughs> no, I don't know. This is the, like one of the few moves I don't know. I know like 90% of the moves. I know Giga Flare is. Oh, okay. What? Not gonna matter anymore. As uh, yeah, the down smash. The down smash does it against Pikachu. But yeah, I know Giga Flare is the biggest one, and that's normally the one I talk about. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but uh, that wasn't a Giga Flip, but it definitely was a Giga Punish coming up from Pain. From Giga Pain's Punish, part. yes. Yeah, <laughs> nice down smash. And, and, and I think most of the stocks in this match were actually taken by that down smash, uh, especially taking, uh, using the fact that it has a really nice armor, so it can just uh, shield, just, just tank. I mean, tank was the word that I was looking for. You can just tank, tank through most of Peach's moves in that type of interaction, and as we saw it, it was uh, the move that, that, that just made the most in those interactions, uh, serving as an MVP as, as just as the Crumbs, f match, just as Roy's backer, you know, that down smash was definitely the MVP in this set. And Payne moves on. Uh, this was a still a pools matchup, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe that was our last pools matchup. I know I said that before. <laughs> I'm sorry if I was wrong earlier. But uh, once again, you know, we're, we're remote, so we don't know exactly.